here and almost. Oh, oh, good right hand. Stop cross. Best punch in this fight. He hurt him. Vasilevsky now tying up. Knees from Falco. I think for the first time, this is a desperation tie up. Oh, good rip. Good rip shots. Nice right over the top. More big short strikes by Falco. The right hand, the knee. More right hands in the left good hand. Good left, man. Falco now finding the inside range, sitting in the pocket. Uppercut. This is the best sequence so far for Falco. He's looking for the finish. Left hand after Vasilevsky slipped the right. He needs to keep the pressure up and not give Slava time to get his composure back. Knee from Falco, uppercut from Vasilevsky. Got to be careful, he can't give up a trip here. Both fighters have now been rocked in this bout. Falco was rocked in round one and Vasilevsky rocked in the early stages here in round three. I disagree with that. I think Falco got hit in that first round. He was not in a bad shape right now as Slava is. He, I really think Vasilevsky is hurt by these shots. He from Falco and he backs off with a smile on his face. Throws the left hook. Vasilevsky trying to throw the jab. What did Falco say, Jimmy? A slow start, counter strike early, and then turn on the pressure. Both fighters back to their feet. Really more of a slip on the Vasilevsky takedown attempt. The question is, can he finish, and is he down two rounds to none? Did he start his offense too late in the fight? There's the takedown from Vasilevsky as he slipped the left hook. Well timed. 2.45 remaining in this third and final round. Falco, though, when we think about the three State of Ohio judges scoring this fight, Jimmy has spent a lot of time on his back. He certainly has. That's why I gave Vasilevsky the first two rounds. On top, landing ground and pound, good control. Now a body lock from Falco from the bottom. Oh, now full mount. Step over in the full mount from Slava Vasilevsky. Beautiful sweep by Falco. That draws an ovation from our crowd here at IX Center in Cleveland. Only two minutes left. Can Falcon finish? Can he pull out the round and the fight? Blood coming out of Vasilevsky's mouth. I'm surprised Falcon isn't standing up. Vasilevsky posturing on his hip, hammer fist to the bottom from Falco. Then the big right hand diving back in. Now Falco certainly wants to land with the ground and pound. He's had opportunities to stand up and bring him back to the feet. He hasn't taken them. 125 remaining in this third and final round. Middleweight tournament semifinal number one. Short left hands doubling up with Falco to the head. Hammer fist. And to the body. Vasilevsky playing a lot of defense. I think he's waiting for the stand-up from referee Chad Trunkovich. Falco trying to prevent that stand-up by staying busy. A hammer fist to the body again. Now Falco certainly doing enough to keep this fight on the ground. Going over top of the head. I don't think that's a good idea. It's going to be hard to finish a guillotine from here. Vasilevsky holding half guard. Falco let that guillotine attempt go. Vasilevsky trying to sit up and through and back to his feet. Knee by Falco. Another knee by Falco. Vasilevsky drives forward and Falco back on his back on his back. Open half guard held by Falco. Final seconds of this fight. Ten seconds. Now Vasilevsky looking to throw from the top position. Close guard from Falco. Vasilevsky looking for one more big shot from the top. The bell in the end of the fight. Oh, well, Falco did turn it on late. The problem is he might have turned it on too late to pull out this fight. When we return, we will see who is our first middleweight tournament finalist. Slava Vasilevsky or Michael Falco.
Jimmy, as we think about the three State of Ohio judges scoring this fight cage side, I really think that they will look back to how much time Vasilevsky was on top on the ground. I agree. That's why I gave him the first two rounds based on that top control. Falcon had a great third round, landed some good shots, had Vasilevsky hurt, but was not able to finish him. Falcon definitely hurt Vasilevsky in round number three. We're never disappointed in this sport when it's Russian versus Brazilian. Almost always a great fight. Going back to the earliest days of MMA. But Vasilevsky really showed his well-roundedness in this fight. We didn't see a lot of judo in the first fight, but great trips. He knows what he's doing with his takedown and on top. A lot of times, this is the hard part, just waiting for the judge to render their decision. The Did winner through to the middleweight tournament final. Both fighters said they wanted to keep this standing. Both said they were looking for the knockout. The knockout did not come, but still a very entertaining 15 minutes. Tonight's fight replay is brought to you by Safe, starring Jason Statham in theaters April 27th. You see here, early on in the fight, Vasilevsky using his trips, his takedowns, staying on top. A lot of that first round in the second round, much closer, got the takedown, wasn't able to stay on top as much as he did in round number one. Actually, Falco closing that round on top in round number three. Falco finally fat, finding his range, landed some great knees, great punches, short shots, and had the Russian hurt in that third round. That was his turnaround. That's when he turned it on, just like he said he was going to. The question is, did he do it in time to sway the three judges? Jimmy, in which direction were you swayed on your unofficial scorecard? 29-28, Vasilevsky. I thought Falco won that third round. That second round, very close. Let's see what the judges think. Here's Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll once again go to your judges' scorecards. All three judges, Phil Rogers, Kevin Armstrong, and Andrew Atkins Jr., all scored the fight exactly the same at 29 to 28 for the winner. By unanimous decision, now advancing to the middleweight tournament championship, Mike Yo, Big Rig Falco. A look of absolute dismay on the face of Slava Vasilevsky.